I, you're really going to love him. Put your hands together for Neruda Williams! Neruda! <laughs> Hey. hey! Whoa! <laughs> Somebody's had a few too many. <laughs> Cut them off. Oh, give it up for Rick Brown. <laughs> Rick Brown is good. Uh, we actually we called each other this morning and we were like, we're going to wear the same shirt. <laughs> we want to be twins. <laughs> um, I uh, had a daughter when I was 19. So I guess. She'd be about eight now, I think, something like that. And I don't pay attention to numbers. You know? um, and sometimes I go to her soccer games because she likes to play soccer. She's a very athletic girl. She's more athletic than I ever was. And uh, her mother recently got remarried, and he's at the soccer game sometimes. And then the other fathers will come up to me and be like, "Hey, you're Zaya's daddy, right?" And I'll be like, yeah, but this is Zion's daddy too. <laughs> and you can see in, it, in, the, in the father's face that he's like, oh, Zaya has two daddies. She has one of those special families. And it's nice, but then I think about it and I'm like, but I'm gonna seem like the bottom in that relationship. <laughs> Cause it's like, I don't drive, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I make the sandwiches and I cheerily like, go ZZ, go ZZ, go ZZ. You know, and he's like this big man. And I just want to get, that just makes me uncomfortable. I just want to talk about that. I mean, I like my kid, but I don't like other people's kids. Can we agree? You agree with that, obviously, because you laugh the loudest. Yeah. I, I, I don't like other people's kids. Uh, I got invited to a party, a friend of mine's party. And uh, when I got there, it was supposed to be an adult party. When I got there, somebody had their kids there. And I mean, I came to get high and drunk and get fucked up. Like, I, you know, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't sign up for group babysitting. This is like the babysitter's club over here, you know? Don't invite me to a party with your kids there if you don't want them to smell reefer, hear some shit they're not supposed to, and see a big black dick. Like, that's not, it's not my responsibility to protect them. I don't love your children. Like, right? yeah. Oh, man. But uh, I, I realized that, you know, I went to the party and, oh, thank you. Uh, I don't even know him. He's just taking photos of me. Uh, I, I went to the party because I make bad decisions, though. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't read Facebook invites clearly. I just click maybe. I clicked maybe to this. Like, I, 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 uh, I just, I'm constantly making bad decisions. And what I've learned is a rule of thumb is that no good decisions begin with the words, eh, fuck it. <laughs> None. Never happens. You know? I've never made love to a woman and uh, was like, yeah, fuck it. It's not going to get any better tonight. That didn't end in gonorrhea, uh, statutory rape charges. Uh, waking up naked in a park, just random things. <laughs> I've never, I've never uh, taken a drug. Like, you know, I remember I took acid. I've never, it was like, eh, fuck it, that didn't end in gonorrhea, <laughs> pregnancy, statutory rape charges, waking up naked in a park. You get the drift. You get the idea, folks. Make solid, clear decisions is what I'm trying to say. It's nice. I'm gonna, it's nice. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Do you think Irish crackheads sing Oh, Danny boy before they get high? I think it'd be a good idea. I would, I sing My Prerogative by Bobby Brown. <laughs> uh, can you see that? That was, that was for, okay. Uh, so crazy, so crazy.
I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Uh, I just. <laughs> I give up. You know. I just. I'm not gonna sleep with drunk women anymore. <laughs> It's just, it's like, it's just, <laughs> it's just too many questions to answer the boy, you know, just, where did these beads come from? You loved those beads. <laughs> Who's the midget? That's my friend. What is he doing to me now? Something very expensive, and you should enjoy it and appreciate it. And I just, I'm sick of it. I don't want to deal with it anymore. I, uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, listen, folks, we're all drinking, you know. We're getting a little intoxicated. And uh, I, I want to give you guys a little story before I leave about the, uh, the things that can happen when you get too drunk. Um, the other night, I had a bunch of Jaeger shots, a lot of tequila, <coughs> half a bottle of Jameson, <laughs> smoked a little crack. <laughs> you know, just enjoying the weekend. And, I'm walking, I'm walking not far from here, and a guy comes up to me and he said, hey, do you know where a guy can go to suck some dick? <laughs> now wait, now wait. Now, it was an interesting question, because do you know where a guy can go to suck some dick? Now, he didn't actually offer to suck my dick. So my first thought was, well, what's wrong with me? And I, 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 to, I told him that there's a gay bar around the corner. And then my second thought was, why do I have that information? <laughs> so I let him suck my dick. Thanks, guys. <laughs> have a And here they come, ladies and gentlemen, the Miss Universe contestants of 2012. There she is. 